because we got some game. And as the brother said in his last lecture, you know that we can flex. All of the brothers on the Sunnah, we're Assalamu flexing. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Salam on behalf of Sunnah Fitness. I'm going to show you the fundamentals workout, which is part of the beginner series of the Sunnah Fitness, uh, fitness team. Now, the reason why we call it the fundamentals workout is because we will be doing three fundamental workouts, well, fundamental exercises, sorry, and each of them comprise of using different body parts. However, all together within the fundamentals workout, you're using all your body. So I'm going to show you how to do each exercise, very simple exercises, which is number one, the pull-up, number two, the uh, push-up, and number three, the squat. And the reason why I'm going to show you this and the reason why it's important is because even people that are elite athletes find these kind of exercises very difficult to do. And it's fundamental to do them because it's so important. It uses different parts, well, different parts of your body and it's so important to use these different types of muscles. So I'll show you how to demonstrate the pull-up first. The pull-up is quite difficult. People get very confused with the pull-up. The pull-up is not when the hands are facing in, but when the hands are facing out. And you really want the pull-up to be in your hands being in line with your shoulders. So when you pull up and pull down, that range of motion is what you should be doing. You need your chin above the bar. You really need to focus on trying to get that chin above the bar. It's important to do that. And also going all the way down. However, when you go all the way down, you don't want to lock out your shoulders and make your shoulders very relaxed. This socket, the, the arm needs to be in the socket when you go all the way down. Now I'll show you how to perform it so you can see how a proper pull-up should be done. So from here, I start from here, you see hands, shoulder, the same shoulders width, my legs down here and I pull up and then all the way down. Look all the way, all the way, go all the way down and then up and then all the way down. Very simple. However, some people find it very hard to do pull-ups perfectly permissible to start off the pull-up and doing a jumping pull-up and then developing it so you're lo looking like this up and then all the way down so you work on your negatives however you should be working on doing as many pull-ups as you possibly can and also the grip if you're a jiu-jitsu person or a, a wrestling practitioner you know that your grip should be like this not like this it's the same with the pull-up bar your hand is not like this it's like this okay I won't tell you how many pull-ups you should be doing how uh, until the end but that's the pull-up now we go on to the push-up push-up is very easy however people get it wrong push-up you should be aiming not to have your elbows out you need a strong frame strong core and not have your elbows out like that in some instances, and I've seen some people actually, for some stupid reason, actually really injure their shoulders because of it. We want our elbows in. We want our hands flat, shoulders lit kind of above and past the hands and doing nice, smooth push-ups. So you have a look here. All the way down, all the way up. It's nice and simple. Have a look at the elbows as well on the side shot. And look how low I go, all the way down, all the way up. If you can take an above shot of me as well, so you can see how the elbows are in my body. Look how close my elbows are into my body. Nice and simple there. The final exercise is the squat. The squat, everyone does half squats, even quarter squats. People do squats like that, <laughs> thinking it's some sort of squat. But a squat, we want a full range of motion. That's the same with the pull-ups and the push-ups. Full range of motion. So, my feet are just hit, hip width apart, facing outwards. I want to get my bum to the floor. So I use all my body, all my, uh, my joints into my hips. So if you have a look at it, it goes all the way down and all the way up. Simple squat there. Mistakes with squats is people do this. That's not a squat. It's not a proper squat. It's a deranged squat. Or not halfway. We're going all the way down, really increasing that range of movement, really extending those hips. All the way down, all the way up. So that's three. So I've shown you how to do a pull up, shown you how to do 
a push up and I've also shown you how to do a squat. Now what you need to do with the fundamentals workout is first make sure you've got a timer or a watch, simple, and have 20 minutes as a time for you to do and complete this workout. What you need to do is do five pull-ups or five jumping pull-ups, then 15 push-ups and then 20 squats. And all together that's one round. So when you've completed every single exercise that's one round and you repeat it again and again and again as many times as you can within the 20 minute time frame. Now it is a heck of a lot of workout but it's very good, very good for endurance. We will be showing you other endurance workouts but this is a very good endurance workout, very good for like the title's called fundamentals. So if you want to try this workout please let us know, post anything on our YouTube channel and also on our Facebook and tell us how you're going and also with the workout we'll, I'll try and make it, if you are very very comfortable with the workout then I'll try and change the exercises so you become very very, uh, so you don't become adaptive to uh, and your muscles get used to doing the workout so I'll make it more advanced or even take a, a peg it down and make it ultra ultra beginner. So Jazakallah Khair for listening to me and hopefully it really will help your fitness inshallah and uh, keep us posted on your progress. Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.